Even as firefighters began making progress on the steel fire, the apocalyptic nature of the inferno is taking its toll. I've never seen it like this before. It's just, here we go again. Evacuation orders are nothing new for Stu Williams. He stayed behind to protect his home, but seeing part of his neighborhood up in flames, upsetting to say the least. This is a, a small community. We know pretty much know one another, and uh, it's just it's very devastating and very sad. A total of eight homes damaged or destroyed. The fire broke out at around 4.30 this afternoon. Emergency crews rushed to put out the flames, attacking it from the ground and air. We were able to get enough firefighters in here and aircraft in here quickly to uh, to hold it to that number, even though one structure is too many. Around 300 residents of Berryessa Highlands and Pleasure Cove forced to evacuate. Just my kids, just the pets, nothing else. Didn't care about anything else. It was it was really close. I don't know if my house is there. The cause still unknown, but the dry brush and heat helped fuel conditions. We're accustomed to it. it is the new normal, but growing up here, you know this is what you get. Part of the lake had to be closed off, which meant boaters had to pack up and leave. It's a bummer, but I, I feel sorry for the people who have lost homes more than anything.